Schomburg Honda Automobiles, just eight blocks west of Woodfield Mall on Golf Road. All right, Sarah, you know what? You can't have a better day for tailgating at Soldier Field, as you know. Now, I'm with Bill. Now, you, you talked to some of his people earlier, and, and the food looked and smelled so good, I had to come back. Bill, your family's been doing this since 1984 at this yeah. game. Now, that's probably, you're probably just maybe just a baby yeah, then when they started? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's just been they ever were, since, right? They were carrying me into the stadium. Back oh, then. is that right? Yeah. Now they carry you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, so you know the rules, right? Yeah. All right, first question's worth 10 bucks. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it right now. Name the starting wide receivers for the 2006 Super Bowl Bears. Bernard Berry and Musa Mohammed. You know what that is? That's good for 10 bucks. OK, you want to take that and run? Maybe yeah. get yourself like a beer and a half and get out of here. Let's go for the next one. Next one? Yeah. All right, so we're $20. You ready? Okay. All right, Phil, you're showing up your uncles and your dad and everybody else right now. I think you're going to be a little upset with you. Okay. You, you're okay with that, yeah. right? Fine He's okay. That. He's fine with that. Wait a minute. Italian sausage? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, next question. Who was the starting tight end for the 85 Super Bowl champion Bears? That would be. Ah, yeah. you, are you looking for help? Yeah. No. Are you? I was going to say it anyway. Were you looking for help looking yeah. right here? Were Aaron you? Aaron Moore. Aaron Moore <laughs> That's right. Aaron Moore ahead. $20. The guy's on a roll right now. How old are you? 22. How old are you? 22, 22 years yeah. old. Just enough to play this game. Mm -hmm. All right, now, you got 30 bucks. Last question for the 100 bucks. You get it wrong, I take your cash back. You feeling good? Yeah, let's You a gambling man? Yeah. Okay. Phil from Dalton, south side, his whole life, ready to go right now. Mm -hmm. Here is your final question for this. You want to hold it? Nope. <laughs> All right. In 1984, who did the Bears beat in a divisional playoff game to advance to the NFC Championship game? They beat. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, wait, wait. I hear people saying stuff. The Luckily, Redskins. Who? The Redskins. You know what? I know nobody told you that because we have people back there. Let me make, let me make sure this is right. I don't need to make sure that's right. That is yours. $130 right here. The 22-year-old shows up the old fellas and he wins 130 bucks. Now, I got, I got a hint for you right now. Run, go, <laughs> run, go. I am joined by Mark, a Chicago Heights native. We're hanging out at the tailgates of a Chicago Bears game, but I'm gonna ask you some Chicago Cubs trivia. But I, what I wanna know, Southside, Chicago Heights, how did you really become a Chicago Cubs fan? Well, I used, to, I used to be both for both teams, and I cheered for the Sox in 83 against the Orioles, and then in 84, I had a lot of Sox buddies put on Padres hats, and that was it. I dropped them like a rock. That was done, and now it's all Cubs. It's all Cubs. Well, yes, it's all Cubs. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's, let's not really talk about that. Okay. Question number one. This former Cubs shortstop was acquired from the Red Sox at the trade deadline no in Omar Garcia Pera. Easy enough. Every time I think of him, I think of Mia Hamm. It's like we got both to the city for a little while. Every time I think of him, I see him tearing his groin muscle in St. Louis and ruining the entire season. I'll risk it. <laughs> I like his attitude. I like it, Mark. All right, you're risking it for $20. So an extra 20, I should say, 30 okay. total. In 2003, the Cubs swept a doubleheader from which team? Pittsburgh Pirates. This guy. Woo! You were right. All of his friends backed him and said, you know your Cubs trivia, and here you go. Do you want to stay with your $30 or do you want to risk it? No, we'll, we'll go for it. We'll risk it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Everyone wants it. Third and final question worth $100. In 1971, this Cubs pitcher won the National League Cy Young Award. 1971. Fergie Jenkins. And you just won yourself yeah. $30. Thank you, Sarah. No, we had, I do have to, I do have to say, Ted, me and Mark had some discussion before the game as to whether or not you went with the Bears trivia or went with the Cubs. I think you made a brilliant decision. Me too. All right, just a few minutes before the game starts, and I missed all the fresh stuff on the grill. And if you think I'm touching that tray, you're absolutely nuts. But we do have cold ones. Thanks, dude. All right, peace out. We've got more beer money coming at you right away. In need of safe and dependable aerial work platforms or material handling equipment? Since 1993, Illini High Reach has been the leading independent construction and industrial equipment rental house in Chicagoland. 
Illini High Reach specializes in sales, rental, parts, and service, and boasts experienced in-field service support and the most modern and productive rental fleet in Chicagoland. Call today or log on to www.highreach.com. Illini High Reach, Chicagoland's High Reach Equipment Professionals. Are you looking for a nice, comfortable place to relax and unwind in the southern suburbs? Then, Intimo's Martini Lounge in Tinley Park is the perfect place. Enjoy a sophisticated downtown atmosphere without the hassle of driving. Different specials each weeknight. Experience the fun, relaxed atmosphere at Intimo's Lounge on 183rd Street, just east of Harlem in Tinley Park. Intimo's Martini Lounge. It's time to relax. Yeah, you know the spot. Right away, sir. Welcome to Giordano's. Your table's ready. Thank you. How's everything? Fantastic. What's your secret? It's the fresh ingredients, and it's been so for the last 30 years. We made it good. You made it famous. Beer Money is brought to you by Lucas Oil Products, made in America, sold to the world. Crisp Insider, the greatest adventures over ice. And by Illini High Reach, Chicagoland's high reach equipment professionals. All right, Sarah, I am now with two guys from Northwest Indiana. We know how many Bears fans are from there, you know. Just over the Skyway, we've got Carl and Brian, and you guys feel pretty strong about this orange out they're having today. Oh, yeah. That's now, you, all know, in. you know, not too many people have orange clothing. It's either like, you know, guys who work on the highway, guys who actually have these jerseys, or prisoners. And it's good to see that you, that you actually have these jerseys. All right, Carl and Brian, here we go. All right. They start off kind of easy. All right, this one's for 10 bucks. This bear scored the first touchdown in Super Bowl 41. First touchdown, not the second. The first touchdown. The first touchdown, one. yeah. There's only one now. Uh, yes, uh, Brian, the first touchdown, because okay. everybody remembers the second touchdown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hester. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's the guy. Thank That's God the guy. for Carl. I'm just waiting to see if you can Oh, my it. goodness. <laughs> uh, you remember that was a kickoff return. First play of the game. Oh, got two beers now. You want this money? You want me to hold oh, on to it? Oh, hang on to it. Oh, you, you want me to hold on to it? Yeah, you can hang on. No, That's you that. hold on to the money, oh, okay? Oh, thank you. Now, run. Now you you want to run with that? No. All right, going on the second question for 20 bucks. Ready? Who was Jim McMahon's backup during the 1985 Super Bowl uh, season? Oh, man, he couldn't dance. Uh, <laughs> no, he really couldn't oh, dance Fuller. too well. Fuller. Steve Fuller is absolutely correct. That's 20 more bucks, man. Oh, we're rolling. Wow. You guys are rolling right now. <laughs> now it's on a roll. <laughs> all right, Carl and Brian, you're going to go for the 100 bucks? I got the C note right here. Oh, yeah, we're going all the way. Huh? I ask all everybody way, this. Right? No matter what my wife says. Hey, I ask you. Want to hold it? I like it. No. I'll smell it. All right. Who led the Bears in rushing in 1972? Now, this is more than 25 years ago, but I get a feeling you've been a fan for longer than 20. What'd you say? Douglas. Douglas. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Say it, say it again. Douglas. No, say it louder. <laughs> Douglas. Who? Douglas. Bobby <laughs> Douglas <laughs> is correct. Yeah. 100, I'll have to give it to you. You got that one. $130. The Northwest Indiana <laughs> boys do yep. it. Northwest Indiana. All right, now, get, now just give me one bears. The bears. The bears. <laughs> Use it well, boys. Use it Thank well. You. Sarah, I was beginning to lose hope for a while, but when you got a couple of guys just over the border, they got $130 in their pocket. They're already headed to the stadium. I'm gonna join them. I have to, um, I have to tell you, I got two guys that I'm feeling good about. Tim, Ken, but they've got their stogies in hand. You're really, you're setting the mood here for your toe, oh, yeah. huh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's a big team going. Bears win. Yeah. A Bears win? This yeah, is how you started off? Yes. Yeah. Got a beer in hand, a soggy. Just make sure the smoke doesn't get in my face. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Keep it down. Keep it down low. Down low. You know the rules of the game, but first sure. I want to know how well do you think you know your Bears trivia? It's pretty good. We've been coming to games for a while now. Right, since we were uh, uh, 29. Oh, yeah, yeah. 29. They've been coming for like two years. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. Okay. Like that. Okay, guys. Here we go. I got the first question coming to you. Make sure you put your heads together. All right. Because from what I hear, Tim's got Wait, a little bit like more that? knowledge. Stay like that. Stay like that. George Hallis handpicked this former Bear to be the head coach in 1982. 
Yeah, we gotta go with Ditka. Yeah. Ditka. Yeah. Right. Ditka. All right, we quit. Give us the money. You can stay with him. No, no, no. no we're we're gonna gonna roll the dice. Ken's gonna keep it in his pocket, not sure what he's doing. We got it all. We got it all. Okay, so we're going for question two. Yes, question two. This Bears quarterback led the team to a wild card playoff game victory over the Vikings in 1995. 1995 quarterback. Wild card playoff game. What are you saying? Hey, no cheating. No cheating. Stop I'm just telling you about the West. Cheating from him anyway. I'm going to go with uh, Harbaugh. Harbaugh. I'm sure it was Harbaugh or Kramer. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I, would, I would. What would you say? I, I'd say Harbaugh. I would not say either of those, but I'm, uh, I'm thinking you guys are on the wrong track. Uh, Tom's here. <laughs> Tom's here. Mm. Even the money back. <laughs> 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 what was the last question? Steve Walsh. Oh. Steve Walsh. Is he a musician? Oh, yeah. Steve <laughs> oh, yeah. Walsh. Oh, Joe Walsh. Walsh. Oh, Thank right. you, my Name dear. Name of the game. It was fun. Good luck, please, to oh, somebody else. Enjoy your smokes. All right. You know. All right. Have a good day. Bears win. Normally, yeah. it's Woo-hoo. that third question that gets people, but the second one was a toughie tag. Need one. Need one. All right, the game has started. Basically, all my money's gone. I have enough just for one ticket. Sarah, great day. These fans really know their trivia. Some of them think they know more than they really do, but it was a great day at Soldier Field. See you next time on Beer Money. One. This is a special announcement. The public is entitled to purchase cars and homes seized by police and bank agents. An inventory of cars and homes are available now and will be sold to the public. Call 800-590-1283. Cars available from $500. Homes available from $199 a month. Down payment assistance available for those who qualify. For listings in your area, call 800-590-1283. That's 800-590-1283. 800-590-1283. Here's a tip from Design on a Dime. When you can't hide the flaws in your walls, pull off them. Make wall cracks and blemishes part of the design with a faux finish. Just add glaze to your color and apply to the wall. Now, the cracks are part of the design thanks to the aged look of a faux finish. Design on a Dime. For more information, visit HGTV.com. Brought to you by Capacio Brothers. Furniture for life. Come see us soon in Lake Zurich.